Welcome to this episode of HXF TV, the formal edition. Uh, I just want to start this one off by thanking all of you guys for such a great event a couple weekends ago. The Holiday Hangover Throwdown uh, went smoother than it went last year. And we couldn't be happier, Amy and I. I mean, we are so proud of our HXF family and community. The, the response that we got from all the boxes, the other boxes that showed up was that we had unbelievable hospitality and they were just blown away by the event. So thanks to all the judges and volunteers that helped make that happen. And thanks to all of you guys and of course our competitors for doing such an awesome job. And we were all over the podium and we, we just couldn't be happier. So um, thank you guys again. Uh, moving on to our charity check-in event of the month. Uh, new charity check-in for this month is going to be feeding hungry pets at our local Humane Society. So again, keeping it local. Um, and every time you guys check in on Facebook, uh, we're going to feed a furry friend over there at the local Humane Society. So make sure you guys are uh, hashtagging your check-ins with HXF Helping Havasu and hashtag Hungry Pets. Uh, I know people have already been checking in. Amy's been blowing it up the blog, kind of explaining how to do it. Uh, if you guys don't know, ask a trainer, ask myself. Um, we'll get you sorted out on how to check in on Facebook. But uh, keep up the good work. I've already seen tons of check-ins coming in. Uh, next, I'm going to move on to our new bikes. You guys have probably already noticed our assault bikes. We have uh, Right now, we only have three of them in the back. We're planning on getting more. But uh, I want you guys to get comfortable with these bikes. You need to know what seat adjusts, where the seat you uh, needs to be adjusted. So just like in the rower on your foot straps, there's a number there There's also a number right here on the neck So you, you need to figure out what number works best for you And then you can kind of tighten it down there and as far as moving the seat forward or backwards um, You can adjust it there. So ideally you guys want to be set up on the bikes where When you're at the bottom of your stroke here, there's still a slight bend in your knee you don't want your leg to be completely straight or you to be rocking back and forth on either side of the seat. You want to be able to sit comfortably on the seat and get to get a full stroke out of the bottom or out of the at the bottom without locking your leg out. So uh, as far as being comfortable here, it's all personal preference. Don't want to see you guys too far away to where you're having to lean forward and do this, but just figure out what works best for you. Uh, and as far as the workings of the, the screen goes, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's a start and stop and all your uh, details are right there. So get with the trainer if you don't know or if, uh, if you're uncertain uh, and they can help get you guys set up on one of these bikes. Start getting comfortable with them because we're going to get more of these torture devices and uh, be integrating them into the wads more and more in the future. Next on the agenda is the Open, the CrossFit Open. If you're unfamiliar with the CrossFit Open, it is a worldwide event. We take part in it every single year, and uh, we, we've had great success with our Friday Night Lights. This year, we're going to ramp it up a little bit. We want to start a little bit, uh, do something a little bit different, and have an inner box competition. So, whether or not you're going to actually compete on a worldwide scale on CrossFit.com is totally up to you. But we'd like to try to get as many people in, uh, involved in the open as possible, and. Uh, do a little inner team, inner inner box competition. So we're going to create four teams, where each of uh, one of the coaches will be the the head of that team. And what they're we're, we're essentially going to do is we're going to run a draft, just like football, baseball, basketball. We're going to draft you guys onto the different teams, and then we're going to pick a team captain and um, get set up for all sorts of, of of fun stuff with that. We're going to have tons of different age groups. So we're going to group everybody into different age groups you know, according to their um, age and ability. So you're gonna get points for all kinds of things, just for showing up for the Friday Night Lights, you're gonna get um, points for doing the workout, you're gonna get points for spirit. Um, there's gonna be all, all, all sorts of different ways to score points for you and your team. Um, we're gonna be doing the Friday Night Lights on at five o'clock every Friday for about five weeks. It's gonna start on February 26th and go until March 25th. So it's five weeks. Every Friday night at 5.30, it'll be the Friday Night Lights comp competition. And if you're not going to be able to make every Friday, it doesn't matter. You're just not going to be able to get the points for showing up for Friday Night Lights, but you can still um, you know, complete the workout on a, on a later date on a, on a Sunday and do it as a makeup or something like that. But uh, 
yeah, it should be really fun. We're trying to get tons of people to participate and uh, take part in it. We're going to be giving out awards for uh, most team spirit uh, and different age groups. And then, of, of course, the uh, overall grandmaster winner, right? Um, but getting excited about that. Another thing that we're super excited to start off in March is the HXF Barbell Club. So we're going to be doing some Olympic lifting. Uh, we want to start an Olympic lifting class. This is going to be an additional cost, but we're going to offer it two days a week. Um, is ideally, I think we're going to have it on a Tuesday or Thursday. I still want to get your guys' feedback on that for anybody that's invo involved or interested in it. But uh, right now, Tuesday and Thursday sounds like the best days for an Olympic lifting class, probably somewhere around 530. Uh, there's going to be sign-up sheets for both, for both the Open and for the Olympic lifting class. If you are interested in the Olympic lifting class, um, please fill out the sign-up sheet. Um, and we'll talk about the details um, at, a, at a later date. But sign up, make sure you guys start signing up for the Open or the Olympic lifting class or both um, as soon as we get those sign up sheets out and available for you. Um, I am going to be having a date night next Thursday, February 11th, um, to kind of explain how the Open competition, the inner box competition, is going to work. Um, so if you guys have any questions about that, you guys can come to the date night next Thursday. Essentially, it's going to be about an hour-long class um, that we'll just talk about the open competition. And also, I'm going to be covering the Olympic lifting competition or the Olympic lifting class that we, we plan on putting together. So um, I need as many people that are interested in both of those things to hopefully show up um, so I can get as much feedback from you guys. So, of course, we can make it the best it can possibly be. Um, again, that date night is going to be next Thursday, February 11th at 5.30 p.m. We will not be running a regular class at this at the 5.30 class, so if you normally work out at 5.30, I apologize. You'll have to work out at 6.30. We'll still have a class at 6.30, but I kind of figured if I put it right there in the middle, then it wouldn't keep people here too late. And if you, if you wanted to still work out, you could stick around and work out at 6.30. And I know most people take a rest day on that day anyway, so... Just trying to help uh, make it convenient for all of you guys. Um, unfortunately, with my work schedule right now, uh, not really panning out too good. But uh, I hope to see you guys all at the date night. I uh, hope to see you guys keep checking in. And uh, lots of people signing up for the Open and our up upcoming Olympic lifting class. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, you guys can call me or uh, you know hit up one of the trainers. And uh, we'll see you guys in the box. Thanks.